Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my 28 week pregnancy update. Wow, time is flying. I cannot believe it's already 28 weeks. So what is that? 12 more weeks left until baby boy's here? We're really excited. Yesterday we had a midwife appointment and all is well. Um, no concerns. They felt around in my tummy. They felt my little babe kick. Um, don't see the OBGYN anymore, so that's a relief. And things really seem to be calming down um, as far as my stress goes. Uh, there's another issue that Moses and I are dealing with with his car, but that's totally not baby related. So as far as my pregnancy goes and how I feel, I feel good. I feel things are progressing. I definitely feel like a hot air balloon. I cannot wait to get this weight off and cannot wait to get to my best self. But, you know, that just comes with the territory of being pregnant. You know, some people gain a lot of weight and I guess one of those people were, was me. I just need more, more, more cushion for my babe. But let's talk about some symptoms I'm having this week. So, from my last video, as I told you guys, as soon as the third trimester hit at 27 weeks, my pelvis became like jelly almost. Like it feels like my pelvis and my my hip bones are gonna fall out of socket. And that's continuing this week. However, the midwife and physical therapist kind of give, gave me some tricks and tips to, to manage that a little better. And I noticed that when I listen to them, duh, it helps, but um, the only problem I'm really having is in the middle of the night, because you're not thinking and being conscious of, of putting both legs on the floor, pushing up with your arms. You're just kind of like, ah, I gotta pee right now, and you just hurry up and get out of bed and don't even think about everything that they've taught you, so. That's the only problem I'm having at night. Now, I was blessed to not have morning sickness in my first trimester of pregnancy, but karma's come back to bite me in my butt. <laughs> Yesterday, Moses and I went on a little, I guess you could call it a date, I don't know, but we went to, really, I wanted to make a day for him. He works so hard. He works long days. Like I said, his car is on the fritz and we're trying to get that situation taken care of. So I really wanted a day for him to feel good and to feel like his hard work is giving back to him a little bit. So what did we do yesterday? We went to the midwife appointment and then he was dying to go to Barnes and Nobles for some reason. So he loves books. So we went to Barnes and Nobles. Um, we had some dinner at this place called the Tipsy Cow, I think it was. So good. I had a blue cheese bacon burger. They have the best, best burgers. Like so good. And then... We went to we went to the burger place first, then we went to Barnes and Nobles, hung out for a little bit, and then we went to the movies. And we saw Aquaman. Good movie, by the way. However, I don't know if it was something that I ate, because I know I'm not supposed to eat blue cheese, but to be honest, I've been eating blue cheese my whole pregnancy. But I like got the worst diarrhea in Barnes and Nobles. I had to stop what I was doing and go handle that. Mind you, there was someone else in the bathroom, so I had to like 
hold it until they left. I don't know if this is TMI, but this is real life. This is what happened. I had to hold it until they left. And you know that sensation in your stomach where you're holding your poo and it's just turning and turning and turning and you can't hold it anymore. Well, that's what happened. I finally let loose and went to the bathroom and I'm like, okay, cool. I feel good. Well, then we went to the movies and I wasn't about to like have Moses leave his movie. He never gets to go to the movies and he loves movies. If you ever want to see Moses happy, go to a movie with him. He loves movies. Anyway, I wasn't about to pull him out of his movie and be like, let's go home. But it happened again. I had to get up three times during the movie, not to pee. I mean, yeah, I did have to pee, but not to pee. I felt so sick. Like, I, not only was I diarrheaing, I don't know if that's a word, but I had to stop and ask the movie theater people for water before I can even walk back into the theater because I felt so dehydrated and I was getting a hot flash and I felt like I was going to throw up everywhere. And, uh. So mind you, we had a burger and we had popcorn and some candy. So yeah, not the best food to put in your system. Um, so I don't know if it was what I ate or if it was just, I don't know. But then we came home and I'm like, okay, everything's good. Everything's good. Ah! I went to go lay down and I'm just like burping up my food. And I'm like, okay, well, maybe this will go away in a few minutes. Let me just calm down try to knock it knock out and go to sleep no i filled so i couldn't throw up in the toilet because i was pooping at the same time i couldn't throw up in the toilet so i had to throw up in the trash can because i'm on the toilet literally it's coming out of both ends and i filled like half the trash can my whole dinner all my popcorn everything came up so I don't know if this is payback for not having morning sickness in the first trimester, but <laughs> it came back with a vengeance. And I don't know, I guess it's karma. I have no idea. Um, but I'm not going to let that stop me. I'm going to, I woke up today and I felt okay. I'm going to just drink a lot of water. I truly feel that maybe I was dehydrated. I'm not, I'm not sure, but we'll see. We'll see if that continues or if maybe it was a one-time thing. You know, I thought maybe I had food poisoning or something because it coming out of both ends and it was just a hot mess. But I only threw up once and it was like one big time so I don't think it was food poisoning. I think it was just food not agreeing with my stomach. Uh, let's talk about acne. So my acne on my face, I switched my soaps. I use Dove soap now for sensitive skin and see if that helps. I use an Olay moisturizer, see if that helps. But my back knee, like I have not had back knee since I was like 14 or 15. I am 27 and I have back knee. What is going on? I, I, <laughs> I take off my shirt and I look in the mirror and I'm just like, am I a teenager again? Am I hitting puberty? What's going on? But I guess it's all part of the game. It's my hormones. Um, What can you do? Your body is going to do what it wants to do. No matter how much I walk, like we walked so much yesterday. No matter how much I walk, I'm gaining weight. No matter how much water I drink, I'm gaining weight. No matter how much water I drink, I'm getting acne. I'm getting back acne. There's just some things you can't control in pregnancy. And I'm learning that. Um... 
and I'm getting better at accepting that this is just what it is and I'll make a change once the baby gets here. I'll let my body heal itself and the minute that I'm healed, me and Moses are gonna start a weight loss journey because not only do I have a gut, he likes sympathy eats with me. So when he sees me have a craving, he eats with me. There's somebody outside my front door. So weird. So anyways, if you didn't hear me, I said somebody was outside my front door. Anyway, um, yeah, like he sympathy eats with me and we just need to get healthy. We need to get healthy for our son. We need to be able to have the strength to, to stay up long hours and to carry our son and to, to, to deal with all that. So like I said, the minute that I'm healed, you better believe and hold me to it too. We are going to start a weight loss journey. I'm not playing. I will never look like this again. I will never let my body get like this ever again. I don't feel cute. I don't feel pretty. I don't feel like maternity pictures. <laughs> what are those? I'm not doing maternity pictures. I want them for a keepsake, but I don't want to remember myself like this. So that's just what that is. Um, some fun little updates. I started, excuse me. I started door dashing. Someone is like, I think it's my neighbor. But I started door dashing and it's so much fun. I don't know why I was ever a Lyft or Uber driver before because literally you go pick up the food from the restaurant you take the food to the customer and you have like a 30 second interaction with your customer. And that's that. There was one incident where like I couldn't find his address and I was actually in a different city. It only took me 15 minutes to get to him from where I was at. And he was super understanding, but that was the only like mistake that I had. And it wasn't like, I'll take responsibility for it, but it wasn't my fault. My maps directed me to a very wrong address um but I take responsibility for it you know I'm the driver I'm in control and I should have I don't know what I could have done differently but I take responsibility my fault and I told him that and I asked him I was like do you want me to call the company and try to get you a refund and he was super cool he's like no don't even worry about it you know I have my food everything's good and I was like okay cool so other than that I made $100 this week on DoorDash and I seriously only worked for like five hours. I worked like an hour a day and that's it. So if anyone wants to make some extra money in DoorDash, hit me up because I'll give you my link. Right now there's a crazy signing bonus if you start. It's a lot of fun. You get to listen to your music all day and just kind of drive around the city and it's fun. Like I said, I work an hour a day. Like that's it. <laughs> And I make $100. Easy money. Easy. And it's not like lifting and Ubering. You don't have to entertain somebody in your car. You're just listening to your music and making sure their food doesn't spill. That's it. So. Oh, hold on. I want to get. I want to get something. This is what we got from Barnes and Noble. Moses started a new um, show on sci-fi called Deadly Class. So he picked up the first comic from them. I was trying to convince him to get all three, but because he never buys anything for himself. But he's like, no, I'll get it later. I'll get it later. I was like, okay, boo, whatever you say. <laughs> so he got that. And then I got this book. Calm the f down, bring it down, um, by Sarah Knight. I got this because Moses and I are in Washington by ourselves and we, um, are dealing with a lot. We're having a baby. 
we have to move soon and his car is damn near broken down so we have to fix that i need a way to let myself know that everything is gonna be okay like i need to really calm down about the situation a same thing with giving birth i just need to calm down i'm really high strung i get stressed i do the whole what if game and i need to just stop that and this book is going to help me do that so in my free time i'm gonna read this i've already read the first couple pages at barnes and nobles and this book is perfect because i cuss a lot and this is just a real down to earth like get the fuck over yourself and calm the fuck down so this is what i'm gonna read and i'm really excited also some other fun things coming this week i'm having trouble starting my cloth diaper stash due to financial reasons so i reached out to a place called jake's diapers if anyone needs help or needs some assistance getting started um you have to send them some proof of hardship which I ha I've sent them proof um, and they are going to send me a package of cloth diapers and inserts. However, you have to return them when you're done with them. Uh, so what I'll do is when I get the box, I'll take a picture of everything to remember what's in the box and um, I'll return it when I'm done, which is great because I only, I only need their help to get started. Once we've been in the game for a little bit, I'll be able to buy some more items and whatnot. Also, shout out to one of my favorite YouTubers. She goes by Jay's Nest. She's a cloth diapering queen. Seriously, like between her and the Jess is Blessed channel, I, oh, and the cloth diaper podcast on Instagram. So those three resources, I call them resources because they've taught me everything that I need to know. And she, Jay's Nest posted a picture of just, she has some diapers she needs to get rid of and this and that. And I was like, hey, you know, if you have diapers you need to get rid of, I will buy them off you because I'm not going to ask anyone for free stuff. Like... Like Jake's diapers, that's different because it's a corporation, but someone personal, I'm not going to ask for free stuff because they've invested their money into it and they, you know, they don't, they don't want to give stuff away for free. And that's kind of insulting too. So I reached out to her and I was like, Hey, I'm having a boy. If you happen to go through your diapers at any time, you know, and find something that you don't use anymore, put it aside and I'll buy it off you. Well, she got back to me right away and she found a couple diapers that that she doesn't use anymore and um, some microfiber inserts, which I'm just going to use as boosters with flats. But uh, yeah, that's super helpful and I'm super thankful for her. So Jay's Nest, thank you so much. I appreciate you. You're such a lifesaver. I instantly PayPal'd her whatever she was asking for. And um, she said she'll send it to me in a couple days. My baby's not due till April, so no rush. But I'm super thankful for her. I'm super thankful for the Jess is Blessed channel. Between those two channels, I've really got like a cloth diapering 101. I don't feel like I know what I'm doing just yet because my baby's not here and we're not in action. But I'm confident to have the basics down. I'm confident that I know what I'm doing enough um, to at least get started and I'll figure out my kinks along the way. We do have, we don't want to use disposable diapers. However, my mom bought us a pack of newborn disposables, which I feel will be convenient because I don't want to buy a newborn cloth diaper stash. I was a 10 pound, eight ounce baby. I don't know how big my baby's going to be. And the newborn stage is so short that I don't want to invest $100 into diapers that are going to get used for two weeks. So my mom bought us a pack of newborn disposables that we'll go through. And I'll kind of fold down for the umbilical cord. 
But after that, I'm gonna do all in one cloth diapers. Um, Jay's Nest is sending me some pocket diapers, I believe. I believe they're pocket diapers. Um, and I'm gonna try that system and I'm gonna also try covers and prefolds and see what I like, what works, what doesn't work. And like I said, work out the kinks. So stay tuned, I'll let you guys know. <sighs> I'm out of breath. And yeah, that's my 20 week, 28 week pregnancy update. We had a lot of fun stuff happen this week. A lot of stressful stuff happened this week. But you know what? Working out the kinks with my OBGYN, I no longer see them. I just see my midwives. I am truly, truly happy. Truly happy. And if you guys haven't seen my video on OBGYNs versus midwives, I highly suggest that you watch it. Again, that's just my experience. However, if I can help someone lead them to making a choice between the two, um, I, I will, I'll gladly help with that. Um, whether you do choose an OBGYN or not, it's up to you. It's your life, right? <laughs> so, well, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell so that you'll get my weekly updates every Tuesday. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Bye.